Hi, everyone. I know that everybody is really excited uh, about the new um, Rebel 8 coming out, and I wanted to um, be sure that I added some videos here to help you get acquainted with some of the features that I consider to be some of the most exciting uh, release in the releases. So I want to talk, first of all, about something that has just come out called the Color Harmonies. Now, this, if you are used to color harmonies in Painter, you're going to find this is going to be very different. It's not Painter. Um, it's Rebel's way of creating color harmonies. And what I will say is it's a beginning, okay? So I think that that's important. And that beyond that, I think in time, we'll start to see more options added to this um, color harmony. Uh, tool, but right now um, it's in its simplistic form, but it can be very, very powerful in helping you to create a image that is on target in terms of color harmony. So, what what one of the first things you're going to ask is is how do I, uh, you know, how do I use color harmonies? How do I get it open? Well, when you're in the basic color wheel you're going to see this little icon up in the corner here. And in order to open that or have it open as a option for you, you're going to want to choose the color wheel circle. And with that said, the very first thing you'll see is just the one tick uh, dialog here. Okay, that little icon. This means that you can go anywhere, choose any color, uh, whatever you want to do. You can pick a color, go here, go there, no restrictions. When you click it again, you're going to see some options where you have some complementary, triadic, and so on and so forth, all the way down. So what if I wanted a complementary color set? So I will select that. And you can see now where the two ticks align. And on top of that, based upon the colors that you've chosen already, you can see that you two, you have the two complements next to each other. And you can actually pick one of those colors and use them uh, for your painting. The other nice option here is that we have the ability to show RGB now, which to a traditional painter is a stellar move on uh, escape motions part and we also have a gradient option here so you can actually choose a gradient of that particular color where you're set on okay so you can go from the very lightest value to the very darkest or anywhere in between let's go ahead and go up to the triadic and pick that and you can see now that we've added three colors to our harmony now, if I want to change any of this, if I want to move it around, what I can do is I can click on this main tick here and move it to the right or to the left, and you'll notice how the colors change as I'm moving them. I can also select the secondary colors and move them accordingly too. So you can see how that works. So you have quite a nice broad area of color that you can choose from and work with. The next question that I'm sure is going to come up is how do I get back to my color wheel and just create or select any color that I want? Again, you'll go and click on the color wheel, select the first option here, which was a single, and now you can go anywhere on your color wheel and choose any color you'd like from color palettes all the way to um, your frequently used colors, okay? So this is just a demonstration showing you uh, how to work with a new color panels option in Rebel 8, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. One of the things I tend to be kind of a stickler on is, is trying to stay within a color harmony. So the, these little tools actually make it a lot easier for you to do that. So if you pick a harmony that you like, 
And say, for instance, you want to go to this one here and you want to work more with saturated colors. You can see how as I move this tick around, I can go to those very dark values, those mid values, and those very lightest values. Okay, so hopefully this will help you get on track and you can start using this. Um, I think I found it to be quite useful so far for me. Um, I tend to really like working with harmonies, color harmonies, and a lot of times what I'll do is, you know, bring a harmony up on a, a reference image to use. Um, but this way, I can kind of stay within that harmony of colors that I'm looking to use, whether I'm working at those very darkest saturated values, or those mid-levels, or those very lightest values. So it gives me some opportunity to really have some fun with different colors in my work and to really explore uh, color harmonies. And immediately, if you stay within those harmonies, you're going to find a beautiful, beautiful harmony coming from your work. It just works every time. So give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.